Howdy, it's Miss Kosh. I have a video already made from uh, last year where I go through and find the X and the Y coordinates on the unit circle, but I was afraid I didn't quite talk through the degrees and the radians. So let's do that right now, and then you can then I'll, I'll link the second video that I already have. Um, this got a little distorted when I copied and pasted it into here. I'm sorry, it should be a nice circle and not this oval shape I'm looking at, but whatever. Okay, so what we always do is we always start, um, we work through our quadrants in order. So like we start in quadrant one, then it's quadrant two, then quadrant three, and then quadrant four. So when we're doing our angles around um, the circle, we go in the, the direct, or we go in that, in that correct order. So this first one is zero degrees. And then what we've done is we've taken the circle, and my previous video on radians kind of shows what happens here, um, but we've, we've done, let me see if I can draw straight lines. Okay, so for part of it, we've taken the circle and divided it into, okay, I can't, wow, that looks terrible. We've divided that into eight chunks. Okay, and so my 360 degrees needs to get divided into eight chunks. I don't know why I wrote the zero. Um, and that gives us 45 degrees for each one. So if we're going to look at those, then this one becomes a 45 degree angle. This is 90. This is 135. This is 180. This is 225. This is 270. And this is, all of a sudden I forgot, 315. Okay, and so we can look at those, um, those going around, and then we also um, can take our circle and divide it, so let's use pink, we can divide our circle into 12 chunks, and that means that we're using, okay, I'm not sure if I can draw it, well, okay, you see, I'm avoiding the ones that I just, well, except for the axes, I'm avoiding the ones that I just did, that's the 45 family, and now I've divided my whole a circle my 360 degrees into 12 chunks which gives me a 30 degree angle each time okay so then this becomes here's your 30 and then a 60 90 um which we already wrote down and then add 30 to that i'm at 120 add 30 to that i'm at 150 add 30 i'm at 180 add 30 i'm at 210 add 30 i'm at 240 270 300 and then 330. If I come back and add 30 again, I would be now at 360. Um, okay, so far so good. Now let's, um, sorry, this one, it looks in a funny spot. We're going to move him a tiny. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, when we do the unit circle for real, we probably should indicate the degree symbol, but I'm not going to make you write it um, when I, when I want to see that you know the unit circle. Um, the other part is that we then also have to do radians. So um, we know, what do we know? Um, once again, this is zero radians. And then we've got the pi over 6 family. So 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6 reduces to pi over 3, 3 pi over 6 reduces to pi over 2, 4 pi over 6 reduces to 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 6... 6 pi over 6 reduces to pi, 7 pi over 6, um, 8 pi over 6 reduces to 4 pi over 3, 9 pi over 6 reduces to 3 pi over 2, uh, 9 after 9 comes 10, 10 pi over 6 reduces to 5 pi over 3, um, 11 pi over 6, and then when I get back, 12 pi over 6 reduces to 2 pi. Okay, so you have two different ways to describe that. Um, then we also have the 45 or the pi over 4 family. Um, I think I did a good job of explaining this in the radians video. So hopefully you watched that previous video. I'm just trying to bridge these two concepts together. So I think it was close to good what I already had, but I thought maybe we needed a little bit more in the middle. Okay, so then this becomes 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4 reduces to pi over 2, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4 reduces to pi, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4 reduces to 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 4, and then we're back to 8 pi over 4, which reduces to 2 pi. Okay, so this is how we know our degrees and our radians all the way around the unit circle, and you just have to know it. 
Um, so practice, practice, practice. If you were in my classroom this year, we would do a unit circle race in all six of my classes, all three of my courses. Um, it's really important that you know these degrees, these radians, and the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. So I would hand you a blank paper, and we would say, on your mark, get set, go. And if you could beat me, if you could fill out the degrees, the radians, the x-coordinate, the y-coordinate faster than me, where I could still read your writing, um, I would give you bonus points. So I'm going to see how we can try and do that virtually, because anyway, I don't know, this whole COVID thing, I'm over it. But um, but we'll do the best we can. The point being, this is extremely, extremely, extremely important, and you just have to know it. So practice it, write it out, write it out, make sure you've got it. You need It needs to be, you need to know it as well as you know your ABCs. Okay, go practice.